Is this gonna be the perfect food shot for you? Probably not. Is it gonna be the perfect food shot for a Mr. Olympia contestant? Well, no, there's margarita pizzas right there, but is it gonna be perfect for the people that just wanna to go to the gym, feel a little bit better and look a little bit better and tidy up their diet? Yes, absolutely it is. Without skipping ahead, guess. How much did all of this food cost? Guess in the comment section down below. If enough people get involved, I'll make it a competition to win some sort of giveaway type thing. That's down to you though. Stick your guesses in the comment section down below. Monday, we won it. What's up guys, Liam and Ella here. Do you not want to be in it? You're kind of going to be in this vlog, we're going shopping. Not your face. Okay, Liam and Ella's body here. And welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we're going shopping. So the first thing I would always recommend, whether you are a student or not, because I used to do this when I was a student, so I didn't spend too much frigging money, but we're doing it right now, again, so we don't spend too much frigging money. Plan out your days and what you want to eat, or at least roughly, anyway, because we know that on one day, not necessarily on the Monday, we're gonna have this meal. On one day, not necessarily on Wednesday, we're gonna have salmon with new potatoes and veg. Not necessarily on Wednesday, but you get the gist, right? So we're gonna go to Audi, we're gonna show you everything that we pick up, we're gonna show you how much it costs, and, well that's it. Anything else? All right, cool, let's go. Once you have decided on your seven days worth of meals, we've got a few treats in there as well, we are writing down our individual, actual ingredientes that we need to make the meals with. Right, because if you don't do that, you're going to go around the shop and you're going to go, oh, I'll have a bit of that. Mmm, yeah, I can add a bit of that in. I'll have one of these, have one of those. One, you wind up spending more money, and two, let's be real, it gets unhealthy pretty fast. So, be organised, like us. Be more like us. And make a list. On that note, what are we having tonight? What the hell? We've been here loads of times, it's never been anywhere near as busy as this. Yes! Babe, they've got some. They've got some. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seems like we're on a salted caramel hype today. Didn't even know they did a salted caramel flavour. Although having said that, I wouldn't mind a strawberry. Like, where's where's the strawberries at? Oh there's some in that in that bit behind there, look. Yeah, there you go. Having no mango and passion fruit is a slight disaster, but we'll, we'll manage. It's fine. A couple of pit stops on the way back. Literal pit stops with pumped up tyres. Oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is this our first food shop together, it's also the biggest one 
I think you're going to see on YouTube today, this week maybe, perhaps. So, you see exactly what we have here. You see everything that we bought. I want you guys in the comment section, without skipping ahead, because we will go through it, and I'll know, without skipping ahead, guess how much did all of this food cost? Guess in the comment section down below. If enough people get involved, I'll make it a competition to win some sort of giveaway type thing. That's down to you though. Stick your guesses in the comment section down below. The first things first I'm gonna do, uh, we actually got back from the shop about 20 minutes ago. So, I'm gonna put all of the frozen things, including the mixed vegetables, uh, and we've got a selection, a variety of ice lollies as well, because it's boiling here in the UK right about now. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the freezer, because otherwise we'll just be wasting X amount of our X amount food shop, you know? Stick your guesses. In the comments section, we've got some fake Soleros, uh, some fake fruit pastel lollies, some fake, fake twisters, and some veg. That's it to go in the freezer, right? I think so. Yeah, cool. That can go in there. That can go in there. Right, on with the rest of the stuff. So we are gonna go from my right to my left. And we've organized this into sections. I say we. Ella made this look very pretty before. Like I just kind of sat there and looked pretty myself. She made this look pretty. So we're gonna start off with some herbs. We've got some coriander and some parsley. Uh, they are not for us. They are for our little furry friend. We have some, we have some <laughs> salad we like to put in wraps, which we'll get to in a minute. So we've got all this section here. Uh, we've got meats in the middle. We've got kind of protein slash dairy in this bit here. Tins and then carbs. So. We'll get to that in just a second. But for now we have some peppers, we've got some uh, flat peaches, which, which aren't for me. Um, I've never really eaten a have flat Have you tried peach. them though? Huh? Have you ever tried them? Uh, They're really good. I mean, I love peach. You'll like them. The, the, the people watching here know that I love peach peach. Mm. I love your peach. Mine ain't flat though. <laughs> no, it is not. Uh, we've got some, <laughs> this is a good one. We've got some uh, vegetables, so we've got a selection of things. Obviously, we've got the mixed veg, which is in the freezer now. Uh, some tender stem broccoli, we've got some baby corn, and we've already got some in the fridge as well. How long all of this is going to last? My guess is it's not a week. It's going to be like 10, 12, maybe 14 days worth, because we've got quite a lot of stuff here. Um, but a lot of it will go on dinners because we have large dinners that we'll then have leftovers for, which leads me to the chicken and the beef mince, right? So we're gonna make, we've got two kilos of chicken here. Right? That's gonna last us a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks worth of dinners and lunches. We're gonna cook a few chicken breasts to have for lunches in the day so that Ella can take them to work and that I can take them to the gym or just eat them in a wrap while I'm editing or whatever, right? So we've got two, two kilos of chicken. Uh, British chicken breast fillets, extra large pack from Audi. I think it was like 11 quid or something like that. We'll go through the receipt in just a sec. Uh, but we've got a beef mince, which is actually gonna last us for four meals because we've got best part of a kilogram worth there. So we're gonna have a couple of hundred grams per serving per time. I'm venturing out to have some more salmon as well. You guys know if you watched the last food haul, I'll link it at the end of this video. Uh, I'm actually venturing out. I'm, I'm trying it, you know, I'm giving it a go. The missus likes it, so I'm being a good boyfriend and I'm trying it and I'm actually quite, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. So we've got a ton of protein yogurts, one of, the, one of which I'm most excited about to try is the salted caramel flavor because if you guys are on TikTok, um, you will know about these. If you go to Aldi, you can get these protein yogurts and they are unbelievable. They are so good. Strawberry, raspberry, mango. I like the vanilla one as well. I haven't been disappointed with the flavor so far. So we've actually got four of the salted caramel ones because it's all they had. Um, so we've got the salted caramel ones and we've got the squeezy ones because Ella can take these to work. Um, I tend to just have these ones. Uh, but occasionally I, I do treat myself to, to one of those if it's a flavor that I desire, you know? So as you guys know, I am currently, or we are currently dieting. We have somewhat of an end goal. Not an end goal, because I'm gonna keep going after that, but we actually have a wedding to go to. It's one of Ella's best mates. Um, you went on the hen do a couple weeks ago, didn't you? Obviously it's not our wedding, but we don't have a like summer holiday booked or anything like that. So it's just a nice kind of like end date. That's in August. It's in August, right? Yeah, it's four weeks, four weeks. So we are gonna be kind of tidying things up and doing shops like this probably most weeks in the run up to just to kind of dial things in a tad. Is this gonna be the perfect food shop for you? Probably not. Is it gonna be the perfect food shop for a Mr. Olympia contestant? Well, no, there's margarita pizzas right there, but is it gonna be perfect for the people that just wanna to go to the gym, feel a little bit better and look a little bit better and tidy up their diet? Yes, absolutely it is. So. 
anyone watching at UFB that's a die-hard bodybuilder, stuff yourself. This is my weekly food shop. So next up we have some uh, reduced fat cheeses, 50% uh, reduced, this will go on like the fajitas or just in wraps that we make or whatever, because we do actually have a fajita kit which we're going to use some of the chicken for uh, a little bit later on in the week. We've got some OJ and some lactose free milk. I don't drink milk, this is entirely for Ella so I, I don't have it's to. It's only lactose free because it's got a longer shelf life though. Well, I'm not yeah, actually lactose free. Yeah, bored of letting a pint of milk go out a day. Um, you don't need it, do you? But I mean, there's no harm in having lactose free because it just lasts a little bit longer. A couple of flavoured waters, again, for Ella to take to work and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tins, this will go kidney beans, tomatoes, all that kind of stuff will go in our chilies. Uh, a korma, which we're actually deciding we're, we're going to have tonight. It's the weekend, it's a nice little treat for us, but it's not that bad. We're going to make it at home. Uh, some eggs, which will go in the meal, our favourite meal that you guys have seen many, many times on the channel. Reduced fat, sugar, whatever the hell they are, beans, reduced beans. If there's a reduced option, just just get it, it costs like 10p more, like just get it. We've got some waffles because Ella really fancies some waffles right now. Uh, we've got some tortilla chips, tortilla chips, tortilla wraps, T tortilla chips, <laughs> yeah. Got some salsa, some guacamole as well. <laughs> Basmati packet rice, they will go in any meal that we have throughout the week. Uh, some potatoes, uh, which will go with the salmon, which I love because I'm a great boyfriend. Two pizzas. Uh, obviously one each to have next weekend. This is our treat for next weekend. And some crisps, because these are like, what, 54 calories per bag? 93 calories per bag. It's the ice creams that are 54 calories. That's why I'm getting mixed up. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't mention a couple of things, maybe the bananas, some tuna, because I, I tend to have tuna for like lunches with some rice and veg and stuff. So um, I've mentioned everything, right? I think so. That's all of it. Okay, cool. Let me come a little bit closer to the people. We also got some surface wipes as well. So all things like this, like the parsley and the coriander, which isn't for us, it's for our very little friend, and the wipes and stuff like that, it's not all food, it's, it's a shop for living, right? So we did get a few bits that we kind of needed in alongside this, which is all included in the price, which is, drum roll please. 76 pounds and two pence, ladies and gentlemen. That, we will see how long that lasts us. The most expensive item would be the chicken because it's two kilos of chicken, 11 quid for two kilos. Really not that bad. It's kind of, well, it's about normal really, I guess. The cheapest item, what would be the cheapest item? 28p, some chopped tomatoes, 28p. <laughs> Obviously we spent a good few quid on the yogurts. They're 75p each, which when you think about it, 25 grams of protein. Um, that's pretty cheap, but at the same time, we bought a lot of them. We didn't need to buy as many as we bought, but we kind of just got carried away with the salted caramel and stuff. But should we try one now? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. You can smell that. Mm. It smells like toffee. Yeah, it does kind of have to be. It's a very similar kind of taste though, isn't it really? Mm. Salted caramel, toffee, butter, whatever it is, buttermilk, whatever, not buttermilk, butter scotch. Butter scotch, yeah, buttermilk. <laughs> come on then, sexy camera lady, come and have the first taste. You have it. No, you have How the first you taste. Have it. You have the first taste. It was a rubbish mouthful. That's my new favourite. That's absurd. <laughs> what the? Well, I'll be damned. Mm. That's Should unreal. Should we go and get the rest? <laughs> going to every other one that they have. Holy <laughs> shit. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our first food shop together. We hope you have enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to make. We kind of unintentionally made this and realised that this was the first shop that we were doing together. Why is it our first shop, man? I don't know. You, you got a cool new job or something? Mm -hmm. Anyone need a kitchen? I know a gal. <laughs> Let me just look <laughs> do, on. Do you not know your job title? Kitchen sales consultant at Rain Kitchens. Yeah, one of them. That's what she's doing. <laughs> she's a kitchen sales consultant. So if you need a kitchen and you're in Brum, hit us up, you know, get that commission. Never mind using the link. You don't need a link. Because that's a stupid way of doing things. Ella, check, check out. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, hopefully more videos like this coming in the very near future. Hopefully we're going to go to a gym or something in the very near future as well. What else are we doing? We've got loads of ideas. Anyway, it's going to be good. Subscribe if you are new. Like the video if you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Together, we will grow. I'll see you.
เอ็ด